Yes, yes. Welcome in again, everyone. It's the One Burner Bachelor on an absolutely beautiful day here high above the city in our small penthouse apartment. Angelo's taking a little rest right now. And it's a cookout kind of day. And my friend Ronnie's coming to pick me up and to take the heat off of him, firing up the grill in the backyard. I'm preparing the hot dogs now. They're going to be perfectly hot and juicy when he arrives, and we're going to enjoy lunch. What I have going here right now for crazy flavor, because I absolutely like to steam and simmer my hot dogs, even if I'm putting them on the grill, because then they're nice and juicy and warm in the middle, and all you have to do is mock them. But to get some extra flavor in these while I simmer them and let them do their thing here in my one sauté pan on the one burner bachelor is I've added about half a package of just generic dry onion soup mix. I'm going to put that flavor of onions in it and that whatever those whatever all those other spices and flavors are in the dry onion soup mix will go through these hot dogs as they steam and get juicy. All right I'm going to get them in the pot. We'll be back in a bit. The one burner bachelor high above the city on an absolutely beautiful day. Okay, boy, I wish you could smell this right now. So as we get a little closer look at these dogs simmering and steaming away and half a packet of dry onion soup mix and just a little moisture in the bottom of the pan. So basically I made a little bit of onion soup to flavor my hot dogs in. But you'll see I got those cuts down the middle like mom and I think everybody does. I guess that's called scoring the hot dogs. So I guess I scored. But they're steaming away now. And a point we made on a, on a previous episode was if you do put too much liquid in the pan, to flavor or steam your dish. Don't dump the liquid out because all that flavor is gone. Just turn up the heat a little bit and help it steam a little bit faster. If you have to wait a little bit, you have to wait a little bit, but it's not gonna hurt your dish, especially hot dogs. All right, smells great, it's steaming away. Okay, we're back, yikes. So the moisture had almost simmered away from the dry onion soup mix I added steaming the hot dogs. I have now added a can of beanless chili. I'm gonna get that hot in with the dogs, in with the onion soup flavor, and as all that thing begins to steam away and thicken a little bit, then I'm gonna put the dogs in the buns with a little bit of the onion soup and beanless chili mix and wrap them up to take them with us. Boy, it smells good in here. Okay, we'll be back. Angelo is still kinda of hanging, but we're glad he's here. The one burner bachelor, hot dog day, cookout, but we're cooking in to take them out. Okay, we've now reached the putting them together stage right here. Ready for me to wrap in a piece of foil as a fresh hot dog bun, not toasted. I like them the way they are. A little mustard in the bottom. One of those fabulous dogs simmering in the beanless chili and the dry onion soup mix. And that's what's on top if some of, if some of that mixture. We're not gonna put chili on all of them, but yikes, does it smell good in here. All right, the one burner bachelor. Cooking out, cooking in, to take it out. Okay, I just got the text from my friend Ronnie that he's around the corner and on his way, which is perfect, because I'm just putting together the last of these fabulous dogs. I put mustard and all the chili on most of them, couple without mustard, one or two without chili, we never know who we're gonna run into, and I'm actually trying to just demonstrate a little bit with my camera in one hand and my saute pan in the other on the one burner bachelor. Burner's unplugged, heat's off. That's the eighth of the eight, eight hot dogs, all wrapped up nice and warm, ready to go. The cookout, cooking in to take out. The one burner bachelor, four minutes, perfect. Love you, Angelo.